Hi everyone, my name is Connor Taluk. I'm a solution architect here at Nearmap. Uh, and today I wanted to take a couple of minutes and work through one of our newly deployed web applications. Um, this is called the Nearmap Demo Gallery web application. So it's using, it's heavily using a package, a JavaScript package called 3JS. This is for 3D renderings within uh, the browser. Uh, but in addition to that, this is really gonna serve as a content hub, right? So Nearmap obviously has some fantastic demo content in the form of videos, story maps, um, you know, specific examples of how to show our imagery in different mapping frameworks, web applications, um, as well as our great 3D data, right? And so all of this lives in a lot of different locations. It runs on different systems and different software. And really what the demo gallery is going to serve as is it a centralized location where all of this can be shown at a moment's notice. So kind of some of the really strong applications to to, run, to use this in is working at a booth, for example, at a conference, you know, having a conversation with a client, kind of better understanding, okay, you work in so-and-so industry, I know exactly what to show you, right? Scroll through the demo app, find that content, and really kind of further that sales discussion with them. Um, but also, you know, I think there's a lot of other applications uh, outside of even trade shows and things like that. Um, so let me go ahead and, and open this uh, web app and just kind of really quickly run through what's available in there. So this is the web app itself. Um, you'll see you have this sidebar, which, can, which is going to redirect to a bunch of these different demonstrations. And again, all of these are loading live in the browser, which is the really uh, fantastic part about this, right? Anytime that a client likes what they're seeing, this is all live coded in and we can share the code with them. We can um, send examples of exactly what they're seeing. Um, and again, really drive, drive some of that sales um, process forward uh, as quickly as possible. So there's this little uh, button here, which will uh, shut down all of those thumbnails so you can better kind of see what's available. So <clears throat> within this project, we have the 3D mesh uh, sample area. So again, these are all uh, all of our meshes generated through photogrammetry in GLTF format. The reason they're in that format is because they're really optimized to work in browser. Um, but the powerful part about these is that unlike map browser, uh, these are full resolution 3D meshes. Um, so you don't need to wait for things to render, wait for the cesium tiles to load in. Things might look a little blocky. They're going to be a really great way to show exactly how good our 3D mesh is um, without risking internet connection issues or cesium issues or anything like that. Um, we have a variety of, ma of uh, mapping tiled framework examples. So, you know, hey, how do, how do we get our content into Mapbox, for example, like how do we show our vector data in Mapbox? How do we show our 3D data? How do we show our terrain data, our tile data? All of these examples exist in here um, for a number of the mapping frameworks, right? We have Mapbox, Open Layers, um, ArcGIS for JavaScript, um, and Google Maps, and Cesium uh, for tile resources as well. Uh, then we also have some Esri content. So uh, this is a vector viewing dashboard for Esri. Uh, we have a couple of different dashboards that are built in Esri as well. And then we have story maps, video renderings, and then an engineering specific little uh, area as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show some of that. So just starting with the meshes, uh, these are you know all different kind of locations. Uh, this happens to be uh, the Travelers Building in Hartford. Um, we have some uh, Griffith uh, Observatory here in California, uh, Red Rocks, Fenway, you know, just various like points of interest that people might uh, find interesting. I personally like to show Red Rocks because I think it looks really good. Um, all of this content for the mesh is actually being hosted on AWS and then being sourced from S3 to CloudFront and then streaming it into the application. Uh, so sometimes it takes a little while to load, but once it does, um, you're going to get that full resolution uh, mesh. Again, really drives home the value of 3D. Um, I think this is going to connect the dots a lot better for clients on how good it is versus what it looks like in map browser. Um, and again, you know, this is that exported content. This is what they could have access to for all of their project renderings and things like that. Um, moving on to some of the mapping frameworks for Mapbox. This is uh, an example of kind of a 3D map using our um, vector AI. This actually came from Stephen Neal way back when. He sent me this kind of example here. And this is live loading in the browser, right? So if someone's like, hey, we also want to generate you know, low level detail buildings from your building footprints at certain elevations, you know, how do we do this? This is code that's already written and we can provide that out to them as a template and say, have at it. And, you know, this is a very viable use case for them. Um, loading the mesh in a GLTF uh, in Mapbox. 
um, vector data in Mapbox. I have an example over here in Boulder. Um, so this is using the vector AI outputs for this little neighborhood in Boulder, and there's some quick little toggles on and off, turn contours on, buildings, asphalt, vegetation. Um, again, very easy to spin up and just kind of showing how well our, how well our data does play in these different ecosystems. Um, so Mapbox tile source, again, this is how you make a tile map in Mapbox. Um, open, open layers, we have a very specific example here with some custom UI. Uh, you know, clients who want to build a map with um, access to changing dates as well as changing views. Very easy to spin up in, in uh, an application like open layers. Again, this is all live running in the, in the browser. Um, all of the ArcGIS examples, things like building in a slider to your map. Uh, all of these ArcGIS examples were built by Jeff Taylor. He spun them up in like a day. Uh, they're all really great to have access to. This is a really cool demo for 3D content multi-view. So it's all of near map data, point cloud mesh, um, low polygon models, and the orthos. And everything is live updating together. And I, I, I love this demo because I think it does a really good job of, of you know, showing how full that data stack is. Um, and, and specifically, again, really the value of this gallery is, you know, sales engineering, um, sales, everyone is putting out such awesome content. Having it in a centralized location and making it easily accessible is, is what we need to get as many eyeballs on as possible. Um, I'm sure a lot of people here haven't seen this demo um, or a couple of these demos even and, and really getting them into one place is, is what matters. Um, so we have a, a, moving on to other frameworks, we have a Google Maps framework example, Cesium example. Um, for Esri, we have a couple of uh, Esri ArcGIS online maps uh, that, that are being iframed in, so they're just directly loading into the viewer window. Again, these exist on ArcGIS Online, um, but it's one of those examples, right, where they exist on ArcGIS Online while other things exist other other places, and you know now they're they're centralized. So this is just our kind of an older generation um, AI vector map, just really good to have uh, quick access to. Some of our fantastic dashboards are linked now, so this is the impact response dashboard, ready to go. Um, and then all of our story maps, you know, sales engineers put a ton of time into story maps, you know, they all can be loaded up live in here. So if you're having that discussion with the client and they're like, yeah, we work in public safety, can we get a little bit more specific in it? Sure, let's jump over to the story map and kind of walk through very specifically exactly what the value proposition, what the value prop is in that space. Um, scrolling down uh, as well, we have a bunch of video renderings. So I tend to even, these are for, um, you know, a lot of times like architect type use cases, uh, Michael did a fantastic job of sourcing all of these. Um, I actually tend to let these run in the booth. Um, when I'm at events, I'll just leave these running instead of having map browser up because it's a bit of an attention grabber to have, you know, full city renderings and fly throughs. Um, people walk by the booth and kind of stop and look and be like, Oh, what is that product? Right? How did they make that? Um, and again, the, the nice thing for, for booth access, these are loaded, uh, they're, they're sourced on the, the repo, so they're not relying on internet connection. Um, you know, you don't need to wait for a video to buffer. They're just stored there and ready to, ready to pull up. Um, and then the final examples here are some engineering examples, um, kind of the, the AEC data stack. Uh, I have this um, slideshow for some specific AEC uh, proposed designs on top of imagery. So this is, I mean, this is a quick slideshow example, but this, we can make these for a lot of other industries as well, right? So if there's other use cases, you can always add more and more to the, uh, to the demo here. Um, and then there's some live CZMI on 3D um, examples. And then I, uh, finally, there's a, an InfraWorks example as well. Um, so I think I've kind of taken as much time as, as needed here, but really just wanted to make everyone aware that the gallery tool's up and running um, and kind of twofold, right? Enable sales to have access to this, sales engineering, solution engineering to have access to it. And really even, you know, anyone who does have great content that they've put a lot of hard work into, um, you know, the, the magic of the app is that almost all content can be hosted in here, right? Oh, if you send something over to me, I can generally get it added here. And, you know, that's really the goal is to get everyone's hard work viewed as much as possible um, and, and, and drive our sales process along even further. So thanks, everyone, for their time and um, looking forward to hearing back from everyone else. Thanks.